business all human beings have different types of needs to fulfill these needs they perform certain activities business is a major economic activity as it is concerned with the production and the sales of goods and services with the purpose of earning money by meeting people's demands for goods and services business is an economic activity of production and distribution of goods and services it provides employment opportunities in different sectors like banking insurance transport industries trade etc it is an economic activity concerned with the creation of utilities for the satisfaction of human wants the term business is derived from english word busy which means to remain active or to be active continuously so we can say business is a continuous activity business is carried out with the motive of getting profit and wealth the concept of business is related with the profit motive some type of loss is incurred in business even though it is an economic activity sometimes there is no profit otherwise loss is there that also part of economic activity only a brief and precise definition of business can be stated as follows business means any legal activity with the motive of profit it is approved by government and other legal authority and only the motive to get profit main objective of business to get a profit so business is a part of an economic activity an economic activity undertaken with a motive to earn profit is called business business is one type of economic activity business is recognized by the purpose of earning profit if the activity similar to that of business activity is carried out at some other places the element of earning profit is not present there then the activity cannot be termed as a business profit is the main objective now we can check about a characteristics of business first characteristic of business is objective of profit the fundamental objective of business is to obtain profit through economic activity it means that is prime and important aims to get a profit in absence of profit there is no possibility of business nobody is to carry out their business there is no profit continuous loss is there they are going to stop their business activity so profit is main and prime consideration profit is essential to continue the business the goods are sold at a price higher than the cost price it is called profit profit is the difference between selling price and cost of that product the difference between selling price and cost price the efficiency of business is even measured with the measurement of profit we will check about uh, how that business status on the basis of uh, profit availability how this business is going on on the basis of a profit we can measure its standard and the status profit is the barometer of business barometer means we can measure the business standard and business condition on the basis of a profit availability and second characteristics exchange of goods and services exchange of goods and service takes place when goods and services are sold either by manufacturing or by purchasing sometimes maybe producer going to sell otherwise producer going to distribute to wholesaler wholesaler going to distribute to retailer at last it will reach in the hands of the various consumers business involves exchange of goods and services goods in physical form and service in a invisible or intangible form are exchanged most of the goods goods we can see and we can touch that okay but other services provided by different profession for example doctor service that is intangible and invisible but we can experience its effect so goods in physical form and service in invisible or intangible for example a company 
manufacturing electric equipment exchanges physical goods while a company providing electric services exchanges service risk and uncertainty business involves risk and the element of uncertainty of returns sometimes maybe loss otherwise maybe not much profitability is not there in business many risk factors are involved example earthquake heavy rains cyclone flood drought etc are natural risk while fire accident theft strike robbery etc are man made risk customers preference interest how it may change non availability of raw materials change in technology etc are business risk all these circumstances are outside the control of management it is the external factors in business or any organization there is two managerial activity external activity and the internal internal inside that organization this risk are considered as the external managerial activity organization can't control this external thing all these circumstances are outside and control of management because of such a risk there are chances that a business may end up with loss instead of profit creation of utility another important characteristic creation of utility to provide satisfaction to the consumer with the use of goods and services is called creation of utility creation of utility means we are using otherwise we are occupying something that time we will get some satisfaction use possession from that day we will get a satisfaction creation of utility takes place in three ways form place and a time when raw materials is converted into consumable finished good creation of form utility take place raw materials is converted into final product their creation of a form utility changes in its form to another form present form to another when goods are carried over from the place of production to place of consumption creation of place utility take place means uh, this product is not available in our place it may be are imported or uh, taken from other parts of uh, different area from there to this place that is the part of uh, place utility creation of uh, place utility goods are stored when they are not needed and supplied time utility takes place present this product is not need otherwise demand for that product is not much that time there is a creation of time utility at the time when they are needed creation of as per this time utility that the uh, uh, importance of storage and the uh, godown facility is there we can use that uh, we can store our product uh, in godowns other important character speaks of business it is a continuous activity business is a continuous activity continuance of activity transactions are carried out regularly and continuously in business transactions exchange of goods and services are carried out regularly and continuously in business business is an ongoing monetary continuous process every day as per our demand we will get a product that is a function of business a business does the activity of purchase and sales continuously with the objective of profit if a trader or producer construct a building for the residents and a later on sells it is and earns profit it is not a business because it is accidentally or it is a temporary process that is why it is not considered as the economic activity or business because the activity of purchase and sale of building is not a regular or a continuous activity for him so business is a continuous activity continuous availability of goods and services are included in business another cash is requirement of money money is required from the beginning to the end of a business so money is and required to manufacture finished goods from the raw materials into the factory and also by a trader to purchase goods 
we know that uh, from business going to start at the initial stage uh, investment needed afterwards uh, purchasing of raw materials uh, various goods uh, and uh, various cost in included in business activities uh, there is investment needed different type of finance we needed and at the end stage of it going to reach in the hands of a customer in between many financial need is there so we can say about the business is need requirement of money otherwise a business need a different type of finance and lastly the cash is it is an economic activity business is a part of economic activity undertaken with the motive of making profit through earning business is one type of economic activity as it is economic activity it is undertaken with a purpose to earn financial returns in business such financial returns is in the form of profit so it is carried out for the economic motivation get a financial or monetary gain so business is considered as a, an economic activity and these are the main characteristics of a business first one objective of profit second one exchange of goods and services third one risk and uncertainty fourth one creation of utility continuance of activity sixth one requirement of money seventh one economic activity